back concept in amplifiers and uh, the contents or the objectives of uh, this presentation are you know, uh, first uh, we'll discuss on what is a feedback definition of a need for feedback and then types of feedback and uh, with block diagram we'll discuss uh, what is a positive feedback negative feedback and then uh, uh, expression for voltage gain with feedback without feedback and then uh, you know advantages of negative feedback and uh, and finally i'll conclude by comparing uh, the the advantages and disadvantages of uh, negative feedback with positive feedback so let me define uh, feedback is a process of feeding some of the output back to the input or in a um, till uh, technical way it is a process of you know feeding back part of output that is sampled and fed back to the input that is feedback uh, this can be also uh, defined uh, as a process in which part of output signal the output signal may be voltage or current and when it is fed back to the input we call it as a feedback process right the amplifier that operates on the principle of feedback is known as feedback amplifier and we have uh, two types majorly for our discussion positive feedback and negative feedback positive feedback uh, is uh, is the circuit or uh, when you say positive feedback it is a signal that you are uh, giving from the output to input that should be in phase with the input signal to the amplifier because basically you have two uh, blocks one is amplifier block and another is uh, feedback block so when you provide a signal through the feedback uh, network uh, that output of feedback networks should be in phase with the input signal or the original signal applied to the uh, amplifier then you say feedback is positive feedback. negative is uh, there is a phase difference between the input signal and the output of feedback network signal okay if there is a phase difference we say it is a negative feedback a negative feedback concept right so but negative feedback is uh, you no know, very much useful in amplifier part whereas the positive feedback is you know uh, very helpful in you know achieving oscillations that we'll discuss in the next class but uh, today we'll concentrate on negative feedback right so with the block diagram uh, you will understand better what is negative feedback and positive uh, first without uh, feedback itself how you analyze the circuitry when you take amplifier you have input and output but amplifier amplifies the weak signal or it, it magnifies the weak signal at the output okay so output will be far far uh, greater than the input because amplifier amplifies the signal given at the input so the gain of the same amplifier can be written as output voltage by input voltage v naught by vi that is equal to a then but this gain is without feedback there is no uh, feedback network in this uh, block diagram where you are feeding some of the output back to the input there is no path close path it is a uh, just amplifier without feedback so gain is a is equal to v naught by vi right so with positive feedback let us discuss the same block so i have taken the amplifier block again as uh, we discussed in the previous slide amplified block is there but additionally we have connected feedback network and that feedback network is designed such that it produces 180 degree phase shift it may be rc network or maybe lc network in practice it is a uh, in this case uh, we uh, no connect in oscillator and all we connect rc network lc network but now here what is the requirement is requirement is to produce 180 degree phase shift by whatever means whether it is rc or lc right so what happen what happens is you know amplifier uh, usually used is ce amplifier common emitter amplifier 
because that produces 180 degree phase shift. So input, you have a positive cycle, negative cycle, but here at the output, if you see exactly ulta wave you are getting, no doubt magnified version you are getting at the output. But uh, for positive cycle, you are neg getting negative and neg for negative at the input, you are getting positive at the output. So exactly 180 degree out of phase signal you are getting at the output of amplifier, right? So some of the output, available at the amplifier output is fed back to the input through the feedback network, right? And your feedback network is designed to produce 180 degree phase shift. So when I say 180 degree phase shifted signal again given as input to feedback network, feedback network, feedback network output is again uh, no, uh, signal which is 180 degree phase shifted compared to the amplifier output. So the signal, whatever we are getting at the output of feedback network, it is in phase with the uh, input. So in phase signal we have, so we call it as a positive feedback. Whenever there is a phase difference between the original input signal and the feedback output signal, we call it as a negative feedback. If there is a phase, di a phase difference, right? But in this case, both are in phase, right? So <clears throat> the result is 360 degree phase shift around the loop causing the feedback uh, voltage to be in phase with the input signal. The positive feedback increases the gain of an amplifier. However, however, it increases the distortion instability in the circuitry. That is a drawback of positive feedback. So we don't use positive feedback in amplifiers because of the stability issue and distortion and noise it generates right um, so that's why we go for negative feedback let us discuss negative feedback because that is very important in our amplifiers negative feedback same block diagram i have taken but uh, we have to design a feedback network which can produce uh, no zero degree phase shift so as i said zero degree phase shift output of amplifier as it is produced at the output of feedback network so when you compare feedback output with the original input signal they are 180 degree out of phase and there is no uh, the signals are not in phase uh, so we call it as a negative feedback and the amplifier introduced as i said amplifier introduced 180 degree phase shift and uh, no feedback network doesn't produce any phase difference so there is a phase difference between the input original signal and the output of feedback network so negative feedback reduces the gain of the amplifier because there is a phase difference definitely gain reduces because uh, this difference is applied at the input of amplifier amplifier output reduces and gain reduces it uh, it provides low distortion stability and increased bandwidth uh, in the circuitries amplifier circuitries right it also helps us to improve input impedance and output impedance right so that is the advantage of negative feedback to list out the advantages um, higher input impedance lower output impedance better stabilized voltage gain improved frequency response it is possible with negative feedback and uh, noise definitely it will reduce distortion also reduces and uh, you will get uh, better uh, that is linear operation of the circuit so next going to the connection types feedback uh, what is a mechanism what is a way uh, you can connect the feedback or uh, the method of uh, feeding the signal out from output to the input so you have these four uh, mechanisms or uh, types of connections voltage series feedback voltage and feedback current series feedback and current shunt feedback out of these four only one is important first one for as per your syllabus this is where only uh, topic we are going to discuss uh, <clears throat> voltage series fed back, feedback means here voltage is fed in series with a input that is a meaning Output is taken and fed in series with the input. 
that is a connection type for this block diagram we'll see in the next slide and you'll be able to understand so this is uh, the voltage series feedback the block diagram try to observe uh, observe this so input vs is applied to the amplifier block and amplifier output is v naught and uh, output of amplifier is fed to the feedback network and feedback network output is fed in series with the input right so this is voltage is taken from the output and fed right so voltage it is voltage series feedback because it is taken and fed in series with the input so we call it as a uh, voltage series feedback signal right so negative feedback definitely reduces overall voltage gain here uh, because we are talking uh, feedback in amplifier definitely the feedback should be negative means uh, input signal and the feedback output signal vf and vs both should be in uh, the, uh, out of phase they should be they are in out of phase so but uh, in the beginning without feedback let us uh, analyze and try to write the gain for this uh, block right if there is no feedback meaning is voltage feedback uh, network voltage is zero when this is zero definitely gain uh, voltage gain without feedback it can be written as output voltage v naught by vs so v naught by vs vs is nothing but vi because same vs appearing at the input of amplifier vi right this is a actual input vi so v naught by vi so if vf is connected in series with the input feedback network voltage vf is connected in series with the input then my vi changes what is that change in vi vs minus vf correct so input actual input vs minus vf will appear as an input to the amplifier block so my vi is nothing but difference between the input and the feedback signal right so uh, v naught is equal to a into vi as we know gain is equal to output by input and uh, output is nothing but gain into input vi right so what is vi it is difference between the two signals already we have written so substituting a into bracket vs minus vf is equal to avs minus avf just uh, expand us you will get this expression but uh, i am keeping avs as it is next minus a minus a that is gain of an amplifier what is vf vf is beta times v naught see the feedback block feedback network block beta is vf by v naught but what is vf beta times v naught that is what it is substituted here so my expression becomes v naught into bracket one plus beta a or a beta is equal to abs so finally simplifying overall gain with feedback i can get is you know af is equal to a by one plus a beta this is an expression for voltage series feedback this is a expression for gain with feedback for voltage series feedback with this so we'll be able to solve few problems so let us take a first problem the voltage gain of an amplifier without feedback is 3000 what he says the gain of an amplifier without feedback it is 3000 he says right so you calculate the voltage gain of an amplifier if the negative voltage feedback is introduced in the circuitry given that feedback fraction me is equal to 0 0.01 what is given fraction feedback fraction in the sense it is a feedback factor beta is given but here the notation is different me is a nothing but feedback factor right so gain is 3000 yeah, feedback factor is 0 0.01 so voltage gain with the negative feedback is avf is equal to av by 1 plus a beta uh, sorry beta is given as me here it is same but only notation it changed so in the problem uh, you substitute either beta or me doesn't matter me is nothing but beta here in the since it is given in the problem me you treat it as me in place of beta you start substituting me right so but why because we derived 
in terms of beta that is feedback fraction beta v derived in the equation so same thing you can substitute here 3000 by 1 plus 3000 into 0 0.01 that is no final answer is 97 simple problem it is you, you check again right so second problem now uh, let us take similar problem <clears throat> The overall gain of a multi-stage amplifier is 140. When negative voltage feedback is applied, please recall the voltage series feedback uh, block diagram that I discussed. Please recall that and try to read this question. The gain is reduced to 17.5%. Uh, sorry, 17.5. Find the fraction of the output that is fed back to the input. That is a question. Meaning is what? He has given gain of an amplifier as 140. 140, right? So, and gain with feedback is 17.5. He says that is a reduced one, right? So, let M be the feedback fraction or beta factor. Now, voltage gain with the negative feedback is given as AVF is equal to AV by 1 plus AV into mu um, mv that is feedback fraction so feedback fraction you have to calculate from this all other values are given gain without feedback gain with feedback is given so without feedback gain is 140 with feedback is 17.5 just substitute and simplify you will get the expression 17.5 plus 2450 mv is equal to 140 just rewriting the same previous expression you will get this right then finally for me if you calculate it is 1 by 20 you will get right so that is what he has asked a fraction of the output that is fed back to the input fraction of the output is 1 by 20 that's it so next problem when a negative voltage feedback is applied to an amplifier of gain 100 right read the question carefully when negative voltage feedback is applied to an amplifier of gain 100 the overall gain falls to 50 so with feedback gain falls to 50 without feedback gain is 100 that is the meaning of it right so next calculate the fraction of the output voltage feedback Second one, if fraction is maintained, calculate the value of value of amplifier gain required if overall gain is to be 75. So uh, write, make a habit of writing the given data. What is the given data? Without feedback, gain is 100. With feedback, gain is 50, right? Now, assuming again, MV as a fraction, uh, feedback fraction, We'll write the expression that we derived AVF is equal to AV by 1 plus AV into beta. We wrote now beta is my MV here. So substituting for gain without feedback, with feedback, then calculating for MV, I will get MV is equal to 100 minus 50 by 5000 is equal to 0 0.01. Right? So so the answer is fraction of the output voltage feedback is 0 0.01 next continuing with the same problem second part is given it is with feedback 75 and uh, no fraction is maintained he has said so fraction calculated is 0 0.01 it is taken and you are asked to calculate the voltage gain without feedback right so expression we have in this we know with feedback gain is what and your mv is uh, given in the problem you are asked to calculate av that is gain voltage gain without feedback so just substitution simplification and uh, av you will get is 75 by 1 minus 0.7 is equal to 300 problem next problem yes the gain of an amplifier without feedback is 50 whereas with negative voltage feedback it falls to 25 
if due to aging the amplifier gain falls to 40 find the percentage reduction in the uh, stage gain without feedback and with feedback so without feedback we'll discuss first the gain of an amplifier without feedback is given in the problem 50 but due to aging it falls to 40 means what for 50 it has reduced to 40 it reduced by 10 for 100 it is 20 directly you can no easily you can write right therefore the percentage reduction in the stage gain is equal to 50 minus 40 by 50 because it has reduced from 50 to 40 by uh, gain 50 into 100 is 20 percent for 100 20 percent is reducing that is a meaning right with the negative feedback what happens when negative feed again without feedback is 50 gain with the negative feedback is 25 it is given in the problem with the feedback it falls to 25 now gain without feedback falls to 40 correct now now new gain with feedback new gain with negative feedback does av is equal avf is equal to av by 1 plus av into mu mv so mv you know av you know you can calculate directly 22.2 percent you are getting and percentage reduction in the stage gain is equal to 25 minus 22.2 divided by 25 into 100 11.2 right so why because uh, gain is 25 uh, and uh, reduced again new gain reduced is 22.2 that is what you have done divided by 25 into 100 it will give you in percentage 11.2 percent right so next yeah uh, next problem very important an amplifier has an voltage gain of 500 without feedback if negative feedback is applied the gain is reduced to 100 calculate the fraction of the output fed back if due to aging of components the gain without feedback falls by 20 percent please read the problem carefully gain without feedback falls by 20 percent now you are cal asked to calculate the percentage fall in gain with feedback so given data let us write first av is equal to 500 avf is equal to 100 you understand right gain without feedback Again, with feedback it is reduced again with feedback right because negative feedback so feedback fraction you have to calculate from this so you have direct expression substitute for the parameters again with feedback without feedback and then finally calculate the me me you are getting it is 0 0.00 yet and gain without feedback if you calculate it is 80 by 100 into 500 is equal to 400 me fraction is given it is 0 0.008 with feedback again you can calculate what is again right so uh, 95.3 you are getting it is similar to previous problems what we have solved so let us go little fast uh, as you know the same expression we are writing and substituting right so percentage fall in the gain with feedback is 100 minus 95.3 divided by 100 that is 4.7 what is the meaning of this without negative feedback the change in the gain is 20 percent correct however when negative feedback is applied the change in the gain is 4.7 is much lower this shows that negative feedback provides voltage gain stability correct no without fee negative feedback gain change in the gain was 20 percent now with change in the feedback right change in the feedback because we have seen in the previous problem yes without feedback the change is 20 percent with feedback 4.7 
we are getting so when you provide a feedback it provides a stability that is the meaning of it right compared to previous problem it is discussed here because on similar lines it is you know asked and uh, only uh, you are asked to find out the new value change in the gain value right so this problem you can take uh, for homework i'll uh, this is a very much similar only thing is what is asked is distortion with negative feedback okay so i have uh, i will circulate these slides uh, i'll post in the google uh, classroom also you can refer and try to uh, analyze and uh, give the solution for it so finally let me conclude with the advantages of negative feedback in amplifier it reduces non-linear distortion increases circuit stability we have seen through the problem it increases the bandwidth possible to modify the input output impedance with negative feedback in this amplifier circuitry noise is uh, no, reduced considerably and uh, the amplitude and frequency distortions are also less so to just to give an example of practical application of this negative feedback in reality uh, one example best example is you know maintain how you maintain blood glucose levels in a human body is you know blood glucose levels are maintained at a constant level in the body by negative feedback mechanism so negative feedback mechanisms has got many application one uh, beyond our uh, technical discussion on amplifier uh, other than that also you have in you know, same mechanism negative feedback mechanism is applicable in uh, no, medical uh, field also when blood glucose level is too high the pancreas secretes secretes insulin and when the level is low when glucose blood glucose level is low too low the pancreas then secretes glucagon right so that is application so like this this negative feedback comes handy in most of the applications uh, so i'll stop here thank you